We have two institutions, di ba? Mm. We have UP, uh, university, and and the military with with a, uh, with a two different mandates. No, the, the the mandate of UP is to provide, I mean, an environment of learning. <coughs> the mandate of the military is law enforcement. So mm. nakikita namin dito, the the agreement itself was good because it prom- promoted goodwill and cooperation between those two institutions. No, it was uh, an expression of mutual respect for each other's mandate. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya nakakagulat na eh, biglaan lang na na-abrogate yung, yung, uh, yung agreement. No? This is uh, an agreement between two parties. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, nagulat kami dahil this agreement between two parties and uh, uh, without any consultation or advice, eh, biglaan na lang nalaman namin na ala na. No? When mm-hmm. it was serving both institutions well no? for, for more than 30 years. Uh, second, that we really see Nothing wrong with uh, with agreement. No? It it was helping uh, both institutions uh, serve their mandates. No? Kaya um, um, we we object to it uh, for two reasons. First, it was a unilateral uh, unilateral abrogation. Second, that uh, right now we see nothing uh, that is uh, nothing wrong with uh, with the agreement. In fact, ang sabi dito is that the uh, law enforcement, academic freedom are not mutually exclusive. No? Kaya nga walang clause dun sa agreement that allows for its unilateral termination. Academic freedom is enshrined in the Constitution. Kaya hindi pwede, it's not a privilege that can easily be revoked mm-hmm. uh, by, by, by one party. In okay. fact, the agreement safeguards both mandates. Mm-hmm. Walang, hindi namin sinasabi hindi sila pwede pumasok. Parang respeto lang sa mga boundaries. Kapag okay. papasok kayo, magpaalam, uh, provide proof that you need to you need to uh, you need to come in. Mm-hmm. Um, kayo, you have to be uh, uniformed. If you do uh, arrests, uh, arrests have to be made in the presence of uh, representatives of the university. Mm-hmm. It's really just uh, you know, respect for due process.